In Latin America and the Caribbean, Sub-Saharan Africa and East Asia, legal restrictions have been cut in half over the last 50 years. The three series report monitors regulation affecting women entrepreneurs and employees in 143 economies. The study expands coverage to examine legal protections addressing violence against women. Well, the Women, Business and the Law 2014 report found that out of the 143 economies we measure, at least 90 percent had one or more legal differences affecting women's ability to participate in economic or employment activities. But the pace of reform has been accelerating. So for example, 44 economies made 48 positive legal changes, making it easier for women to pursue entrepreneurship or employment activities. So while we've come a long way, we still have a long way to go. The World Bank report shows that when there is a gender gap in legal rights, fewer women own their businesses and income and inequality is greatest. In all economies, married women face more legal differentiations than unmarried women. Among the reforms, husbands can no longer unilaterally stop their wives from working in Ivory Coast and Mali. These restrictions have been reduced by more than half over the past half century. The next new area that we looked at was violence against women. So we examined legislation on domestic violence and sexual harassment in the workplace. And we found that in both domestic violence and uh, sexual harassment in the workplace, that approximately 75% of the economies covered have this type of legislation in place, although it varies in its scope and uh, coverage. The Middle East and North Africa have the most legal differences between men and women, followed by South Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa. In Africa, a notable exception is Ivory Coast, which leads globally with the most gender parity reforms during the past two years. The World Bank has set a goal to end extreme poverty by 2030.